Yeah. Um, it's funny. Andrea and I just did a, another another interview where we kind of discussed be- between ourselves how difficult it is to summarize this movie because it's it's really just kind of a person's life with a window into it, um, which is Leslie's life, which is her. Um, but I play I play James, her son, and the the. The movie is about a woman who 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 wins the lottery and gets a whole bunch of money and spends it all drinking, um, and her life falls apart and and she has to kind of deal with that, um, and it's and it's her relationship with her son and her family and her sort of adopted adoptive family. Um, and then these two complete strangers, and also alcohol, and and you know, that's yeah, that's the movie, um, sort of. <laughs> it's 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 very it's very um, it feels like a very true to life movie, and and it and it is because the the writer Ryan, um, it's it's based on his own experiences, um, and I kind of I play him. In a way, but I also don't. So, so there was this, there was this fun, you know, kind of thing, of I was playing the person who wrote the movie, but also I wasn't. So I, I, we didn't like look to him for inspiration with with who I played. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll <laughs> at at first when when I you know when I got the script from from Michael, I was like, okay, I'm playing, I'm playing. Ryan essentially, and so could I meet him? Could I, you know, would would do we want to do that? Do I want to, you know, try to kind of get his input with this? And and it, it we sort of decided that like no, it would be it would be because it's not the same story exactly, and because the the circumstances are different, it, it wouldn't quite um it wouldn't quite make sense to do that. So so. A lot of what my prepar- preparation ended up being was just my own kind of like imaginings of of James's life, and you know, talking with Michael and kind of getting bits out of the story. and And, and Michael wrote me this lovely um, sort of history to to work with. Um, and yeah, and and so so a lot of it's it's funny because because when you when you play different roles, you know, you, you, I, at least I sort of prepared different ways a lot of the time. Um, and this one was really just kind of getting, finding a way into my body and, and, and into his, into his head and into what he's been through and how that affects him, you know, I'm rambling. But but yeah, that was that was really the preparation, and also what I what I knew about about alcoholics and and how they behave and and what knowing one is like, um, which is that's James's James James's experience. Hard, it, they I mean they were hard, but she she is so extraordinary, and and we also have worked together before this is this is our second time playing mother and son um right. which yeah and and she's like she's 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 so easy to to work off of and to feel like you know it's to to make she 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 makes it real um for me so so when there are these really difficult scenes it's 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 really difficult but it but at the same time it's it's fun because she's so good <laughs> um and 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 michael was was so he was so clear with with what james was going through and 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 you know how how i could bring that out and and there were times when i i was like you know that's how you know you have a good director because because a lot of the time sometimes you're on your own and and Michael was always he always knew how to shape the scene. I mean, I think 
I think the whole thing is is something that I will remember as as I remember, you know, the 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 first time that Andrea and I worked together and the first time that Michael and I worked together as well. This is our this is our second project. Also, Michael and Andrea and I all did a show together a number of years ago called Blood, Bloodline and I look back on that and think of that as sort of, you know, my training almost like that's where I learned how to do stuff and be on you know work um and they had a big hand in teaching me that and and so this is kind of a a, a continuation of that of that relationship um and I'm really I'm really lucky to get to to work with both of them and to have gotten to work with both of them twice now um but the the I mean the the kind of ending of the film was one that I, I didn't know how, how it would go or how it would play. Um, and so that was, I think, that's a moment that I'll look back on as, well, I won't say any more about it because it's the ending. Well, tonight I'm sc screening this movie to Leslie, and then tomorrow night I'm screening another movie, The Cow, um, which is a complete shift from what this movie is. It's like bizarre thriller, very twisted and twisty. It's a lot of fun. Um, so that's tomorrow. And then at some point down the line, um, oh, and then there's another movie that I, that I premiered at TIFF last year uh, called Montana Story that's coming out in May. And then at some point, two other movies that I, I did last year will... will come out. It feels good. <laughs> um, I, I, I guess I don't really think of it as a moment, but I, I, maybe that's what it is. Um, but no, it's, it feels, it always feels nice to, to, to have, to get to see the, the products of, of, of what you work on. Um, just cause this business is such a weird one and so many things sometimes. Yeah don't come don't come to fruition or they do and it's not you know but but it it feels really good